How's it going, everyone? This is Doc Farhan. Um, there's a lot to cover in this video. It's gonna be a very thorough and complete video because I wanna tell you, um, and I'm very excited to tell you in detail regarding the four herbs that I take every single day and that I've been taking for the last 15 months. A few months ago when I did my blood test, my bioavailable testosterone was at Superman levels. It was above the reference range of bioavailable testosterone. And a lot of you already know this, that bioavailable testosterone is the testosterone that is available for you to use when you need it. And so I made a video at that time and I explained how Afro D was the main difference during those times, during that year. And my hypothesis is that Afro D is the reason that I was able to get this Superman testosterone levels. And there's a lot of details about the four herbs inside Afro D, right? Tonkat Ali, Schizandra Berry, um, Hushuwu, and Pearl Powder. And how we manufacture these herbs, what the quality is, why it is better to get it from the high quality sources rather than Amazon or trusting some random herb manufacturer, why the doses and the ratios we're using are the most optimal, why are these four ingredients specifically the reason and why they are the most optimal for your masculinity. You know, how did I end up choosing these four ingredients? And there's a lot of questions that I've been receiving from clients regarding little nuances, little questions about these four ingredients. So that's why I'm making this video for you. And essentially what's gonna happen is, you know, it's called the four herbs that I take every day. I'm gonna get into the intro right now. It's on this whiteboard. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase this whiteboard and I'm gonna draw figures to explain what each of these ingredients inside Afro D, what does it do? These four ingredients, these four different herbs that we've included in this one product, what does each one do to your masculinity? What does it do to your blood flow? What does it do to your erection quality? How does it work? What does each ingredient do to your assertive behavior or your cooling behavior, your groundedness? What does it do to your testosterone levels? What does it do to anxiety, anti-inflammatory properties? What are the nitty gritty, what, is, what are the nuts and bolts of each of these ingredients? I'm gonna get into all of that in this video. And I'm also gonna cover the different tests that are used by us when we manufacture and distribute and package these products. You know, what farms do we use? Why do we use these farms? How is each ingredient made? How is it harvested? So all of those details I'm gonna get into in this video and uh, Again, if you have any questions, even after this video has, is done, post them in the comments below and I'll answer them in the next video or I'll just answer them in replying to your comments. So let's get started. Now, how long have I been taking this herb? So Afro D I've been taking for 15 months. Okay, so around December 2017 is when I started and you know, I mentioned in the Superman testosterone video uh, that I made a few months ago that is also on YouTube. I mentioned how Afro D is the main reason why that Superman testosterone was reached. But even before I came up with Afro D, even before I started consistently taking these four herbs, I had tried dozens of other herbs. So for example, a lot of you you know, know what adaptogens are. We're gonna get into this word adaptogen in today's video, what that means. You're taking herbs to reduce your SHBG levels, for example, or reduce your cortisol levels, or reduce aromatase activity because you wanna lower your estrogen content in your body, or increase your testosterone level. So you're taking a lot of herbs for different things. You're taking pre-workouts, you're taking creatine, you're taking a lot of things, but 
a lot of you also take natural herbs, right? There's a big difference. Sometimes you take pharmaceutical grade products, like if, for your erections, you may take Viagra or Cialis or Levitra or these other things that are made in a lab versus those that are made by nature, plants. So everything that we're using is 100% natural made by the earth. It's evolved over billions of years and that's why we're using it. And so even before I came up with the formula, formula of Afro D and used these four ingredients, I had tried a bunch of herbs, right? Horny goat weed, tribulus, um, pine pollen, uh, shilajit, um, there's like tons, ashwagandha, uh, maca powder. There's all these herbs that people are always asking me about. Hey, doc, why didn't you put this inside Aphrodite? Why didn't you put that inside Aphrodite? Well, I tried all of those things. And I didn't just try them for effectiveness in my own body, but I got information and reviews from clients and colleagues, as well as people who have been taking these herbs for many, many years. Because there are some people I know who've been taking herbs longer than me. You know, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I've only been taking herbs for maybe three years or so, maybe three years, two and a half, three years. But the last 15 months have been very consistent with Afro D. But as I started understanding which herbs to take, one component or one serious factor that I looked at is what does the science say about a particular herb? Right? So for example, Tonkata Lee is the main ingredient inside Afro D. And we're going to get into, you know, the next slide or the next whiteboard will be all about, Af will be all about Tonkata Lee. I'm going to get into the details of Tonkata Lee and, and the quality testing and how we manufacture it and so on. But Tonkata Lee is the most well-researched herb for men on the planet. When it comes to increasing testosterone levels, free testosterone, bound testosterone, total testosterone, lowering SHBG levels, there's even studies that show that. Tonkat Ali is the most powerful herb when it comes to the science part of it. So if you look at things like maca or ashwagandha or tribulus or horny goat weed, those are also very assertive herbs, very strong, hot herbs according to traditional Chinese medicine. And I considered all of those. They were in my short list. But when I understood the science and I understood the effectiveness of Tonkat Ali and the purity of it and how high quality it is that we can make it with the manufacturer that we use, this was a no brainer. So that is one of the factors that I use. What does the science say about it? So yeah, just to, just to reiterate, a lot of herbs were considered before coming up with the Afro D uh, dosages and synergies and the, the actual components that we're using and why we're using them. So I'm just letting you know that this was a long process and finally we came up with the most powerful thing that we could. So, so that's why these four. Now, when you think of benefits, and I'm gonna get into the details, the nitty gritties of these benefits very soon, but in general, I thought of it like me as I am trying to progress on my masculinity, as I'm trying to develop myself as a man, what do I need? Well, one thing that's very important to me is sexual performance. So erection quality, high testosterone levels, blood flow, lasting long enough, having that assertive energy, having that power in the bedroom. So that was one factor. So I thought, thought of that. What herb could I use for that? Then I thought, well, I also need the groundedness. I also need the cooling effect because I don't want to cycle you know, five days on, two days off, five days on, two days off. That was ridiculous to me. So I thought, well, I need something, a formula, something combined 
in which I can take this every day because it would add a cooling grounding effect to the herb. So that's another thing I considered. And then finally, I don't want to just be you know, an alpha male, a leader of the tribe, someone who is comfortable and fulfilled in his masculinity. I, I don't want to just do that for a few years or, or just a small period of time. I want to do that for life. So I looked for an ingredient which has the anti-inflammatory properties, the antioxidant properties, the anti-aging properties, and something that can be used as this base product inside Afro D, which allows me to have this holistic herb that I can take for life. So I can maintain that sexual performance, that cooling, that blood flow for life. So that was what I, the benefits that I wanted to consider because that is how I could take one herb, one formula and not need anything else because everything would be in one. So that's, these are the general benefits. Now, so I explained to you the process of how I chose these four ingredients, the dosages and ratios. So I tried a lot of things. It was a very trial and error type process because if you look at something like Tonkat Ali, you take a lot of it, it will have a negative effect on you because it'll make you too assertive. It'll make you too jittery. And quite frankly, we don't know what the high dosages do because when you look at the scientific literature, there are particular dosages that they've used in these clinical trials. So for example, for Tonkat Ali, there have been seven human clinical trials done up to date. And all of them show a lot of very powerful results that I'm going to get into in the next whiteboard. So the dosages and the ratios were considered using trial and error. So I did that on myself for month after month after month. I would take this much of Tonkatali. Then I would take this much of Hushuwu. Then I would take this much of Schizandra Berry and Pearl Powder and I would mix these for myself week after week after week. And then I would have my clients try it and my colleagues try it. And that is how we came up with the formula through trial and error and to seeing what really, really works well. And only after I had been on it for around five, six months consistently is when I brought it to the market. And you know, it's been in the market for four or five months now. And for about seven or eight months, it was just me and very close people to me who, and we all tried it together. And now it's working super well because we went through that entire rigorous process of not only doing the quality and the testing, but also trying out the actual ingredients to see how that affects our erection quality, how it affects our blood flow, how it affects our testosterone levels. And, and it's, it's been amazing, especially nowadays. You know, we look at um, one of the guys I just did a one-on-one -on -one interview with last week, uh, his testosterone doubled in just five months, not even five months, like four months and a little bit. His testosterone doubled. Right? So it's not just my testosterone that's doubling. There's multiple guys whose testosterone has doubled in just a few months of taking Afro D, being in the Afro D Academy and doing all the challenges, attending the workshops, going through the mind shift training, understanding how action is important for real results. So that is what happened with this. Now, when it comes to the farms, the manufacturing, the distribution, quality control, I'm going to get into the details of that. But just, in, just to summarize, the farms that we use, for example, we use an organic farm in America, located in Massachusetts, which is the only organic farm, American farm, for schizandra berry in the market. So we use that. And I'm going to get into the details of why the berries, the way we manufacture them, the way we make the powder out of them is so refined and so pure and so clean. I'm going to get into that soon. Same thing with the manufacturing, the distribution. And in terms of quality control, 
And in terms of the testing that we do, I'm going to get into every single test that we use, be it a trace element test or a zinc test or a uh, verification test to make sure what we have is actually verified. We even have a test uh, which looks at if PDE5 inhibitors are inside the, the, the herb. Because a lot of manufacturers, what they do, the, the, the fraud guys, you know, the, the fakeries, they give you a little bit of sildenafil, which is the component inside Viagra, they slip that in to the Tonkat Elite that they that serve you or the Schizandra Berry that they serve you because then you think it's working but it's this PD5 inhibitor which is how Viagra works they've slipped that in there and all the other ingredients are just total crap so you don't really know what's going to happen in terms of your side effects because Afro D has no side effects the four ingredients that we've used, and that's one of the reasons I put that in there, because I didn't find any side effects associated with these four ingredients. So, so this is the, the intro for this video today. Um, I'm gonna go and erase this right now and uh, show you what Tonkat Ali does for your body, how we make it, what ratios we use, and why. So let me do that now. So the next slide that we have, the next whiteboard, is about Tonkat Ali, as I promised. So Tonkat Ali is the main herb, it's the main ingredient inside Afro D. And <laughs> I wrote you here, uh, the first thing to note is that it's very bitter. It's extremely bitter. And because we don't add any preservatives or any added sugar, or any fillers or anything that is gonna contaminate the purity of Afro D, uh, it doesn't taste amazing. However, a lot of us raw dog Afro D, right? I, I showed you Afro D uh, earlier, and I'm sure you've seen us raw dog, you know, taking it straight into the mouth with a spoon. And the dirty 30 challenge that's going on right now, where we you know, take Afro D for 30 days and, and no porn, no weed, um, no alcohol, no drugs for 30 days, about 25 of the guys in the Afro D Academy out of the 140 or so that we have now, just straight up raw dog uh, Afro D. And now we're used to the taste. I mean, I, I'm used to the taste. I, I've been taking, I've been raw, do raw dogging for three months, taking Afro D for 15 months. But uh, I mean, now it's become easy. But yeah, the first time you taste Afro D, it's going to be very, very nasty. Just warning you, uh, especially if you raw dog at the beginning. So that's the first thing to note. Now, what is this 100 to 1? So a lot of the questions that we get about concentration of our Tonkat Ali is when people say, well, I found this other company that's giving me 200 to 1. So let me explain to you what that means. When you see a hundred colon one, it basically means they take a hundred pounds, for example, a, a certain amount of weight, let's call it pounds, a hundred pounds of whatever they're using, be it the root, the stems, the leaves, or in some cases, it's not for Tonkin Ali, but other cases, it might be the flowers or certain other aspects of the tree or the plant. And a hundred pounds of that will be used to make one pound of the actual stuff that will go into the supplement itself, into the, the, the product itself, the herb that we make. So in this case, a hundred pounds of the root of Tonkat Ali we take to make one pound of the Tonkat Ali extract that is used to make Afro D. That is very, very powerful. It's the most powerful, highest quality herb of Tonkat Ali in the world. I challenge you to find a better one. Now the guys who tell you that they have 200 to one, they're lying. Now, why is that? The way they are measuring the way they are manufacturing, the way they are extracting the herb is not with high quality. 
as we're doing it. Now, how can I prove it? Well, whenever you see someone do a 200 to 1 extract, ask them first, is, there, is it contaminated with fungus and toxins? A lot of them are. That's the first thing you want to ask. The other thing is, are they using the root? We're using the root, which is the most powerful part of this. So basically, the Tonkin Ali we get is from Malaysia. We, it, we import it from Malaysia. And it is a small jungle tree. It's about 30 feet tall right, in Malaysia. And you can get Tonkin Ali from Indonesia as well. You can get it from Malaysia. You can get it from Thailand. But Malaysia, for us, the, the tree we use in Malaysia from our research is the most powerful one. And it's the one that gives us the best quality available in the world. So that's why you, we use it. Some companies use trees that are available in Indonesia and they claim that that's more powerful. Well, it's hard to prove this, but we are very adamant in our quality because we do all the different testing. So for example, what are the tests that we do for Tonkatali? One of them is known as the verification test. After the powder is made, after everything is done, we take the powder and we verify it. We compare it in a test in the lab with Uricoma longifolia, which is the scientific name for Tonkat Ali. We make sure that the product after it's manufactured and packaged is the same as what the root was, what we started with. So that's one test we do. Another test we do is a PDE5 inhibitor test. So PDE5 inhibitors, as I mentioned earlier in this video, are what sometimes other companies slip in to give you a product that is not uh, side effect free. Because as we know, Cialis, Levitra, Viagra, these have a lot of side effects and they're not natural. They're made in a lab. So they slip that in. So we do a PDE5 inhibitor test to make sure that the final product does not have any trace of PDE5 inhibitors, for example, sildenafil, which is in Viagra. Um, another thing we do is we do a uricomanone test. Uricomanone is the very potent component inside of Tonkat Ali. And we find that usually it's about 1%, which is very, very high, it's very potent. And that's what we want. So I challenge you to, if you find something on Amazon or you find something that some other company is giving you Tonkat Ali, I challenge you to find if they are doing the test that we're doing and we're verifying how pure and high quality our Tonkat Ali is. All right, so I challenge you guys. So that's the other one. Now we also do a microbiology test where we test for E. coli, salmonella, yeast, and mold because we want to make sure there's no toxins that are in the final product. Because a lot of companies, they'll give you something that's contaminated with fungus and toxins. So we do all of these tests at the end when the product is made before it's shipped to our clients. All right. So that's uh, a little bit of uh, a background. Now, Tonkat Ali is an adaptogen. There's about six or seven adaptogens that are available in traditional Chinese medicine. An adaptogen is something, first of all, it reduces cortisol usually. An adaptogen by tradition is something that has been used to reduce stress. It's been, and, and why does it do that? It's, the reason it's called adaptogen is because it adapts to your current hormonal profile. That's the magic because if you, if you do something in a lab, you produce some drug, it is not something that has evolved over billions of years. It's not a plant. But if you look at something like a tree or a plant, or for example, schizandra berry, which I'm gonna cover in the next, next uh, whiteboard, these have, been, have evolved. It's been tinkering going on in the universe over time. So because of that, you can be sure that when you take it, because that's Earth, and your body is, has also evolved over time, that adaptogen has the ability to look at your current hormonal profile and adjust to your body's physiology. That's what an adaptogen is. And that is why sometimes, this doesn't happen with Afro-D because Afro-D starts working right away. But some 
very optimal results of certain adaptogens happen after, let's say, 10 weeks. Um, there's been studies that showed that, for example, pearl powder, which I'm going to get into on the fourth whiteboard, uh, it took, took in one of the studies about 10 weeks for the full effects to happen. So sometimes it could take several weeks or 10 weeks or you know, more than that for the full adaptogenic effects to optimize in your body. So that's what an adaptogen is. It, it optimizes your hormonal profile no matter what it is. It adapts to it. All right. Now, there have been, so why do I stress Tonkatalee so much? Why am I, why is it so sexy? Why am I in love with Tonkatalee and not with Tribulus or Horny Goat Weed or Maca or Ashwagandha or all those guys? Well, because there's been seven human clinical trials done on Tonkatalee to show all the benefits. Okay. Human clinical trials, human. All right. And they are placebo controlled. They're not just some goofy experiments. They're randomized. And um, uh, which one is, what's M? So they're placebo controlled, they're randomized. And I think, let me see what M stands for. Let me look at my notes real quick. Um, they are, oh, male. They're done in male. So the, so the, the subjects that they used were men. Because some, you know, some studies, they, they use PCOS females and uh, people with disease or people who are infertile. There's all these weird studies. But the seven clinical trials that I'm talking about are done on normal subjects, men that have the ages that are normal ages of the people inside the Aphrodite Academy. You know, anywhere from 18 years old to 50, 45, 50, 60 years old, depending on the study that you look at. So it's done in men. Now, what are the benefits of Tonkatalee that they found in these clinical trials? I found in myself, we found in members of the Aphrodite Academy and, and everyone else who's used Aphrodite and everyone else who's used Tonkatalee who doesn't use Aphrodite. First and foremost, libido and free testosterone significantly increase. Study after study after study shows this. Now, testosterone's benefit, the main benefit of testosterone is libido. It's sexual arousal. Another benefit is morning wood. Another one is energy, drive, and obviously physical weightlifting benefits, for example, muscle growth and so on and so forth that testosterone brings you. So this is it. And it's not just that. It's also confidence, assertiveness having the ability to express yourself fully and say what you want at the right time and, and not be, you know, not hide out. So that's what testosterone will give you. So obviously it's you know, free testosterone, bound testosterone, total testosterone increases with Tonkatali and libido is the main factor and morning wood is another one and so on. Penile heart. Oh, let me, let me explain this, uh, what this means. So the number of attempts, to have sex with your partner increases as well. That's what they found. And one study showed that Tonkatalee works better than testosterone replacement therapy, which is unbelievable because TRT is obviously super expensive. It is something that you, know, you inject exogenous testosterone in your body. There's a bunch of side effects and it should work better than anything else. Right, because you're injecting you know, 10 times the testosterone that your body can produce. But Tonkatalee, I mean, not 10 times the amount, but a significantly higher amount than your body can produce. And then your body may stop natural production of testosterone, especially if you don't do it correctly. Now, you can go on cycles and stuff with TRT. That's, uh, I've already made videos about that. If, if you're on TRT, then I mean, this video is not for you anyway. I mean, you, you need to get off of TRT. We're all about doing natural testosterone production. But Tonkatali can work even better than TRT, this one of the studies found. Penile hardness. There's a penile hardness score that they make this, the males of these, these sexual couples take, and the penile hardness score also increases after Tonkatali. And finally, fertility increases. So if you saw my video in the testosterone transformation Facebook group. So 
Every week I'm making three videos now. One video is the one-on-one -on -one that I shoot with an Aphrodite Academy member that goes on the Testosterone Transformation Facebook group on Tuesday. Then I shoot one on Thursday, which is a general video. The last one was about weed, about marijuana and how it affects testosterone. That also goes on the Testosterone Transformation Facebook group private, and you can get on that. It's free to, to, to sign on, and all the information is in the comment below, in the description below, so read that. And the third video is today, this one, Fridays, uh, which is the general video for YouTube and Facebook and so on. So if you're not on the Facebook group, you won't get the other two videos. The last video I made about marijuana and testosterone, I explained to you very clearly the adverse effects of marijuana on sperm parameters. So motility, morphology, sperm volume, sperm concentration, total sperm count, um, and, 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 and the acrosomal reaction that happens when the sperm hits the egg, uh, the ovum. And, and all of those parameters actually become better with Tonketa Lee. So what we does to, to sperm count, especially shown in most studies, not all studies, and watch that video for all those details, but Tonketa Lee has been shown to significantly improve your fertility, your virility, the ability for you to have children, okay? So that's there. They actually even find sometimes that spontaneous pregnancies happen when these, uh, these studies are being done. So for example, I remember one paper I read, 15% of the couples of, of, this, of this bunch of men who were taking talk at a leaf, 15% of those men impregnated their women during the actual scientific study. It was just amazing, it's beautiful. Now the mechanism behind all of this, it's been proposed, it's a hypothesis that Tonkid Ali facilitates the unbinding of testosterone from SHBG. So for those of you who have high SHBG, you need to add Afro-D to your stack of lowering SHBG levels. Because one thing that I've seen in the afro -D Academy members as well as other clients is that if you have very high SHBG, then your free testosterone will be low your bioavailable testosterone will be low. So one thing is, is not so easy to do is lower your SHBG levels while keeping your testosterone levels the same or even higher. And Tonketa Lee seems to do that. So that's super awesome. And there's been studies that, that show this and, and, and that's why the hypothesis is there. So that is what I wanna tell you about Tonketa Lee. In the next whiteboard, in the next uh, you know, slide, I'm going to discuss Cassandra Berry. So stay tuned. So the next ingredient that I want to cover is schizandra berry, which I call boner berry. So recently, uh, I think it's been about two months or so, I wrote this article called boner berry, the forbidden fruit of the bedroom. Now this article, when it comes out, when it's published on our Aphrodite Academy website, it will be available to our members. And I, I hope, one day you can read it as well. If you're not already a member, you become a member and you read that article because in that article, I go through every scientific article that talks about schizandra, all the sexy science behind it with figures and, 
and the pathways and it's just a wonderful wonderful neuroscience as well as the microbiology biochemistry of schizandra berry but i'm going to cover a lot of it here i can't get into all the mechanisms and all the the synapses and whatnot but i will cover enough for you to understand what schizandra berry does now schizandra berry by the way when i was in bali last year uh, i mean a lot of them know what schizandra berry is it's very interesting like people there they're really aware of their health and 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 what is good for bedroom performance and so on and and a lo lot of it was sold there too so let's get into that now so first and foremost you know we covered tonkata lead that's the first ingredient schizandra berry is the second ingredient um five to one again five pounds of schizandra berry are taken to make one pound of extract of the powder that's how pure it is it's five to one okay so that is uh, the concentration again it's a very very potent form of schizandra berry and i'm going to get into the testing we do the way we make schizandra berry into powder and why it is the best available in the market all right so forbidden fruit of the bedroom the reason i call it the fruit of the bedroom is because that is the ingredient inside afro d right i i showed you this i'm gonna show you show you again it's the ingredient inside afro d that is specifically there for increasing blood flow although tonkata lee will increase your penile hardness it's going to increase your morning wood it may even help you during sexual performance but schizandra berry is the ingredient that is really vigorous and potent when it comes to blood flow increase and actually helping you during the sexual performance okay so let's get into that now where do we get it from there's a farm in massachusetts it's not known as shen blossom really amazing farm go look it up on youtube there's nice videos about this farm it's the only organic american farm for schizandra berry in the market and we use them they're very high quality stuff all right it's freeze-dried and i'm going to get into what that actually means very soon but when you freeze dry schizandra berry versus just have it raw you preserve its potent form you preserve its power when it goes from that farm to the manufacturer and distributor to pack it inside afro d okay so that's why we freeze dry that's why we don't just keep it raw and and have the components inside just dissipate and deteriorate we want it to stay strong so that's why we do that all right so what are the benefits of schizandra berry here are the first two i'm going to get into the sexy stuff later but let me cover just the, the 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 not so sexy benefits but they're still really cool so it lowers cortisol for those of you who have high stress and cortisol is a hormone that is relief released when you are in the high stressful situations uh, in in a high stressful situation and it increases cognitive performance learning memory focus alertness this has been shown with schizandra berry it fortifies mitochondrial antioxidant status now the mitochondria is the organelle inside the cell that makes atp that makes energy for you that converts your food into energy and when you what does it mean fortify mitochondrial antioxidant status it allows the cell to produce antioxidant mechanisms to fight free radicals right so there's these free radicals that form that make our body more inflamed that make our cells more inflamed and this is the main factor for things like belly fat for low testosterone for different diseases inflammation is a big thing and that's schizandra berry helps with that the next thing it again it destroys free radicals this has specifically been found what is that going to do lower belly fat increase your testosterone indirectly and of course reduce stress which we sh showed here now let's get into the really sexy benefits schizandra berry has been shown and proven to cause relaxation of smooth muscle cells now you remember in the workshop that I did for the Afrodi Academy and I've done a, a free workshop when I was in Bali 
where I talked about the entire mechanism of how erections work, how ejaculation works, the parts of the brain in the hypothalamus, the erection centers of the brain, the ejaculation centers of the brain, the different dopamine receptors that are involved, like dopamine D1 is involved in erection, D2 and D3 are involved in ejaculation, how that entire system works, the nucleus accumbens and how the synapses are formed and what happens in, inside the synaptic cleft, the presynaptic, postsynaptic uh, neurons and, and terminals. I explain all of this stuff in those workshops. I can't explain it again. Go watch those workshops. Go watch those videos to, to learn more about that stuff. It's really, really cool neuroscience. But one thing that I talked about is the way your erection can be maintained and at least start. So how does an erection work really quickly? Okay. It starts psychologically, right? You have to get turned on by something. You have to get turned on by a tactile stimulus, a, something you see, so a visual stimulus. Tactile is something you touch, something you hear, something you smell, you get turned on, you have a desire, so you get aroused. That's the first step of erection. Then you get blood flow. Your arteries dilate. Your smooth muscle cells have to relax and then your veins have to get shut. So blood can't leave. So your erection is maintained. That's how erections happen. Well, schizandra berry causes relaxation of the smooth muscle cells. So it, that's how it helps with, that's why it's called the fruit of the bedroom. And the specific mechanism behind that, it, it increases enos expression. So. NOS, what is ENOS? Okay, so there's two types of nitric oxide synthase. These are the molecules, or the enzyme in this case, that is the precursor to nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is the main neurotransmitter that is involved in increasing blood flow, okay? It is the first step of this entire process. And E stands for endothelial, because there's also N-NOS. N-NOS is a neuronal nitric oxide synthase. That happens in a neuron. In an endothelial cell, it's called an E-NOS. So the endothelial nitric oxide synthase expression increases with schizandra berry. And that will allow you to have the erection and maintain the erection, okay? So that is why it increases blood flow. That is the mechanism behind it. Now, let's look at quality. You know, you always say, oh, schizandra berry, I can buy it on Amazon. I can just uh, buy it from this other manufacturer. Well, are they gonna have this? So, other manufacturers sometimes will give you schizandra berry that is oxidized and crap. They will give you schizandra that is raw. So it's literally lost all of its potency. What we do is we give you schizandra. First of all, it is made in nutrient rich soil. Even the soil that we're using at the Shen Blossom Farm, it is very nutrient rich. And this has been shown in the testing. And all the, by the way, all the tests that we've done for Tonka Ali, schizandra berry, pearl powder, hushu wu, and I'm gonna get into hushu wu and pearl powder in the next two black uh, whiteboard slides. We have all of these tests. I can just give them to you if you want to see them. We have every single test, every ingredient. Sometimes there's five tests we do, seven different tests we do, three different tests we do, just depending on what the ingredient is. So nutrient-rich soil, we clean it with pure well water. The natural spring water from the well, that's how we clean these berries. And finally, we deep freeze at negative five degrees. And we deep freeze because before we ship it out to get it distributed and packaged, it needs to stay in its potent form. So that's why we deep freeze it. And then it's air dried and so on and so forth when it gets to the destination. And that is how schizandra berries processing works. Okay? So I'm reiterating the quality to you because you need to understand the amount of work that has gone in making Aphrodite to make it the most powerful herb on the planet for men. And this is why it is so powerful, all right? So this is the 
information about Schizandra Berry. And again, if I didn't cover something here or you don't understand something here, post it in the comments below and I'll be very happy to make a video next time or just answer your question in the comment. The next whiteboard will be about Hushubu. Stay tuned. All right, so the next topic is going to be Hushu Wu. Now, why did I choose Hushu Wu? Let me cover that a little bit, then we're gonna get into all the details of Hushu Wu. We had to have some base product. So we cover Tonkat Elite, it's the assertive product, it's something for increasing testosterone, it's the aggressive one, it's something that is the, the super hot product inside Afro D. We needed something, or I wanted something for general longe longevity, general anti-aging, anti-inflammatory, something that protects the kidneys and the liver specifically. Because look, there are certain pharmacokinetic properties that it's hard to do rigorous testing on, right? Imagine all these herbs that are available to us in the world. The effects they have on the kidneys, the effects they have on the liver, yes, these clinical trials look at the pharmacokinetic and the other pharma properties of what these herbs are doing on the organs. But just to be sure, just to take extra precaution, I wanted to have something in there that adds extra protection for the liver and the kidney. And that is why I chose Hushu Wu. So let me get into the details of that. So that's what, how you write it, Hushu Wu. And we try and make sure that every single root that we use, every single plant for Hushu Wu is at least four years old. And that's what makes it potent. Um, the scientific name is Polygonum multiflorum. So if you're reading about Hushu Wu, you might come across this name, or you may even come across the name Foti. I know one of our, the guys in our Aphrodite Academy, um, Peter, he always calls it Foti. Technically, that's not the right name, but people just used it as a synonym, and now it's used, people call it Foti. Anyway, it's a 10 Okay, so, it's so, so I'm going to get into what this means very soon. So, so black beans, okay. So one precaution that we wanted to take, because there have been studies in the past, tons of papers on PubMed about Hushu Wu, and a lot of them are concerned about the fact that certain components inside Hushu Wu may have a harmful effect on the liver. Okay? Even though Hushu is supposed to be liver protective, the way you cook it, especially the raw part of it, if you don't cook it well, then it could have problems for your liver and, and those will not be pretty. So for us, what we do to target this problem is we cook it with black bean soup. And I'm going to get into the actual process of that very soon. And the reason we do that is because we want to destroy all the components inside Hushubu that may affect the liver in a negative way because we don't want that, okay? We want it to protect the liver. 
Okay, so it gets rid of all the components that are harmful, harmful for the liver and it increases the beneficial, it increases the beneficial components inside Hushubu, which are known as stilbins. Stilbins are very specific. Uh, I mean, there's different scientific names for stilbins, but this is just a general name. These are the components inside Hushubu that are good for us. And that is what they're using to see what effects it has on human physiology, these stilbins. So that's just a, a general idea of how um, we are targeting the fact that it could be harmful for the liver, what we're doing to cook it. And I'm going to get into the details soon. Let's get into the benefits next, and then I discuss how we cook it. So the roots and the leaves of Hushubu have been shown to be anti-aging. How? Well, there's anti-tumor, anti-inflammatory, and antioxidant properties. And the way we know that about Hushubu is that it suppresses the inflammatory pathway. Now, the way they look at anti-inflammatory processing in the cell is that there is certain cascade of molecules that happens, which is known as the inflammatory pathway. And if certain components target that inflammatory pathway and suppress the molecules of that pathway, they are shown to be anti-inflammatory. Or if they kill free radicals, they are shown to be anti-inflammatory or antioxidant. Okay, so that is uh, what Hushuwu does. Liver protection, kidney protection. Over thousands of years in traditional Chinese medicine, one of the main reasons Hushuwu was prescribed is for kidney and liver protection. Okay. Also, Hushuwu has been found to decrease the lipid profile in someone and decrease the low density lipoprotein, LDL, which is known as the harmful cholesterol inside the body. You know, you know about HDL, LDL. Now, it's not that simple because it also depends on if it's oxidized, if it has free radicals, but in general, LDL has been shown to be the bad cholesterol over the last few decades, and that is decreased with Hushuwu. And the way it does that is that it regulates the cholesterol synthesis gene. So the genes that actually produce cholesterol in the body, Hushuwu can target those genes specifically. So it's super powerful herb. It's also been prescribed for insomnia. So if you look at the entire traditional Chinese medicine literature and the entire holistic medicine system in China, whenever someone had insomnia, was not able to sleep, get enough REM sleep, they prescribed Hu Shu Wu. And that general nature of what Hu Shu Wu can do as a base product inside Afro D is the reason I included it. All right, so that's now. How do we make Hushuwu the highest fucking quality that we can make it? This is what we do. This is the process. So this is the preparation. First of all, we do not use just raw Hushuwu because that will be very harmful. It's going to have toxicity in there. It's going to have ingredients that are going to be harmful for your liver, maybe even for your kidneys. So if someone, if, you're, if, if you've been buying Hushuwu raw, stop. Okay, that's why we rigorously test all these things. So we have the highest quality available. So what is the preparation? It's traditional prep. We take at least a four-year-old root. We slice it. And then we do a stew procedure. We stew this. And there is the liquid of the, the soup that we use. And we use a black soybean soup. And for hours and hours and hours, this soup is cooking the Hushuwu to destroy those toxins that may affect the liver and increase the stillbins. That's how the process works. And then what happens is there is a 10 to 1 extract and you do this three times in four and a half hours. So in a span of four and a half hours, and I've covered what this 10 to 1 means. 
right? 10 pounds of the actual material, the root, is used to make one pound of the powder. Okay, so that's what it's happening. And as this liquid goes into the root, as it's increasing its potency, this happens three, we do it three times just to make sure that all those toxins get eliminated. Then we filter it, then we air dry it, and that is how Hushu is the highest quality possible. All right? Again, if something was unclear, if something I didn't explain correctly you want to know more about, post in the comments below and I'll be happy to cover that in the next video or just reply to you in the comment. This is the third ingredient of Afro D. So we just covered Hushu Wu. Next, we will get into pearl powder, which will be the fourth slide on the whiteboard. And then we're going to end with the conclusion and some words about quality and testing stuff that I haven't covered yet. I'll see you soon. Okay, now we finally get to pearl powder. Pearl powder is probably one of these ingredients that you've never heard of. A lot of people don't hear of pearl powder. And I mean, it's fair because the only food grade pearl powder that's available in the world, and remember, this was really hard for us to get, it's available in China. It's the only one in the world. Um, and it's the only one we can trust. So that's where we ship it from. Anyway, pearl powder is the ingredient that allows Afro D, right? Afro D right here, to have no spikes and no crashes. Now, I really started understanding the power of pearl powder when guys like Andre and Van and other guys in the Afro D Academy a few others, they started raving about how they're taking Afro D about an hour or two before sleeping and it helps them sleep. And I understand that Hushu Wu could help them sleep, right? There's a sleeping component in there to calm the mind, but pearl powder is the one that's really doing it. Pearl powder is a cooling agent inside Afro D. Because look, most herbs out there, they either don't know what ratio of pearl powder to put in there. Most of them don't even have pearl powder. They don't even know it exists. But most of them, they're very assertive. They're very testosterone driven. They're very uh, hot herbs. But the fact that we put pearl powder inside Afro D, and formulated it with the perfect ratio and concentration is because we wanted Afro D to be taken every day. Like I don't want to do five days of awesome performance and get man's natural edge for five days, but then two days I'm without it. That doesn't make any sense. So pearl powder is what allows Afro D to, we don't need to have it cycled. We can take it every day for the rest of our life. So that's what pearl powder is. So no crashes, no spikes. Now, it's essentially just a preparation of pearls. And where do we get them from? Oysters and mussels. Mussels, however you say it. And these are mollusks that you get on the beach, you know, in the sea. Okay, and again, on, the only food grade is available in China, and that's where we get it from. Now, what are the benefits? Well, it calms the mind. But what do we mean by that? It increases GABA activity. GABA is a neurotransmitter in the brain that is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. When it's released, it inhibits certain activity in the brain, it slows the activity, it calms the brain down. A lot of even drugs 
that are downers impact the GABAergic pathway, GABAergic neuron. So that is the mechanism through which pearl powder is doing its thing. It lowers anxiety, lowers nervousness. This has been found in pearl powder studies. And again, I mentioned no need for cycling. It's again an antioxidant, just like Hushu, just like schizandra berry. And finally, it's used for beauty. It's been used for beauty in traditional Chinese medicine. And we always bring that because we respect this. So skin, hair, and nails are increased in their health and potency and their power. And how? It slows down melanin production and melanin is what causes freckles and skin spots and things like that. So because it slows down melanin production over life, it's anti-aging and it will lower the amount and frequency of freckles that you're gonna get over your lifetime, which is super awesome. And it maintains hydration. That's what pearl powder does. Now, let me get into some other very interesting things about pearl powder. Now, what is it? It's car calcium carbonate or magnesium carbonate. If you're wondering what the actual molecule is, it's this. It has 10 essential amino acids and it has six non-essential amino acids. So it's a really cool ingredient. And, and I have yet to see any herb that is such a powerful herb for men that includes pearl powder because people haven't realized that we don't need to cycle herbs. You can just put a cooling ingredient in there to calm yourself down, to keep yourself grounded and on the earth and, and, and just walk around the world with ease. And that is what pearl powder allows us to do. All right. So that's this. This is the, the fourth, actually the fifth whiteboard because the first one was intro. So we did intro. We did Tonkata Lee, we did Schizandra Berry, we did Hushu Wu, now we did Pearl Powder. And the last slide, I'm gonna conclude, show you a, just a few things. I'm gonna draw a few things and uh, talk a little bit about testing and quality and uh, show you some other stuff. So stay tuned. Okay, so now this is the final slide, the final component of the deck, the whiteboard. Conclusion. So I'm gonna talk about certain tests that I mentioned just briefly, but I wanna get into some details of the tests we do on Afro-D and then a few other cool things and then we end. Okay, so I mentioned to you the PDE5 inhibitor test, the certificate of verification test, the trace element testing, the zinc testing, I already mentioned all that, it's the, the microbiology test. But there are other tests that we do to make sure even more that we have the best product in the world. We do a full spectrum minerals breakdown. We look at 34 minerals and we make sure that they are not above a certain threshold because if they are, then that contaminates the, the powder. So we do that test. We do a heavy metals breakdown. We want to make sure that the heavy metals, you know, there's a bunch of them. We look at every single one and we compare them to see how much of those heavy metals are in that powder. And we make sure that that amount is optimal. And the certificate of analysis, which looks at if the actual product after it's made, after it's done, if that is as pure as what it started with. So the entire process of sourcing and harvesting and manufacturing and packaging and distributing and traveling with it, at the very end, if the first thing we started with and the end product 
How much do they match? We analyze that and we prove it. That's what certificate of analysis is. Everything is gluten-free. It's paleo-friendly. It's vegan-friendly. There's no GMO, no fillers, no preservatives, no added sugar, no colorings, no artificial flavorings, none of that shit. That's why it's the best in the world. Now, if I haven't convinced you yet, do not get this from Amazon and try to figure out what the dosages are. First of all, the dosages that I've used, and this took me years to figure out, okay? The dosages, the concentrations, and the ratios to give the synergistic effect to get you to double your testosterone levels, to increase your bedroom performance, to increase your energy and your masculinity, you will not know what dosages and ratios to use, quite frankly. So do not go the Amazon route. You won't be able to get this quality, man. There's no way. Like we've done all the work for you. Just take advantage of it and get Afro D. So this is out of the fucking question, okay? Now, just to reiterate, what is the Afro D Academy? We have a Facebook group that is for members only I personally answer every question on that Facebook group. You get 24 seven support and you get real results. The guys that are inside the Aphrodite Academy, they get one-on-one -on -one coaching from me, not just at the workshops that happen every month, but also at a private one-on-one -on -one session that I give them. Some of those are two hours long. You get two hours with me, one-on-one -on -one coaching to get to your, delve into your specific issues. And we post those one-on-one -on -one interviews on the Testosterone Transformation Facebook group. If you don't, if you're not on that, go on that and watch those. There's, now we've made these units where inside the unit you can watch every single one-on-one -on -one interview, you can do every single challenge, you can look at every single demo, you can look at every single testosterone truth, all of that is there in the Facebook page. So that is what the Aphrodite Academy Facebook group is about. The testosterone transformation group is different. Okay, that is free, it's private, it's, but it's something you can just get accepted to if you qualify. But the Aphrodite Academy Facebook group is for members only, people who have bought Aphrodite. Okay, and all of that is for free as long as you get the supplement. Now, all of this stuff you will get nowhere else in the world. Listen, man, we're giving you on a subscription basis the most powerful herb on the planet for men. And we are giving you the workshops every month on very sexy, amazing topics. We've had a workshop on how to break porn addiction habit, how to break any habit, how to take on a habit. That was a five hour long workshop. We had a workshop, which is over four hours long, with Van, who talked about the most powerful tool in the bedroom, how to use this tool to give your woman orgasms without even touching her. I mean, just unbelievable stuff. So we had a workshop on that. So we have a workshop every month. We have this 24-7 Facebook group. We have a private website private website, which is for members only, which has challenges. You get a challenge every month. Like this month's challenge is a dirty 30 challenge that I talked about earlier. Um, yeah, man, it's just an unbelievable, you will get this nowhere else in the world. We're giving you a supplement with total support. We have about 140 members now. By the time you watch this video, it might get up to 150, who knows? So yeah, join the group. There's no reason for you to wait get the six month program or get the one year program or get the monthly program, whatever you want. There's multiple options available, whatever is best for your liking, grab it. All the details for the Afro D Academy, all the details for grabbing Afro D today, right away, they're in the description below. You'll find it somewhere around this video or in the first comment if this is on Facebook or it could be in the caption, it's somewhere. Click on those links, check out the testimonials, look at the, just the dramatic impact we're making on the world. How people are doubling their testosterone levels, increasing their bedroom performance, just rocking it hard in the world, improving their lives, becoming more happy, becoming more 
in touch with themselves, expressing more love, more expression, and being themselves in the world with ease. And that's what I want from you, man. Just become stronger as a man and just reclaim everything you've lost. All right? That is the conclusion. This is what Aphrodite is, the four ingredients, the testing, how amazing the quality of this herb is, man. We're changing the world. Jump on with us. Let's do this. I will see you on the inside. And if you have any questions at all, what video you want me to make next week, post it all in the comments below, and I'll be happy to make it. Bye, man. This is Doc Farhan. Love you. I'll see you soon.